All right, let's go over the reproductive system. Okay, so reproductive system. Oops. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right thing. Okay, uh, the reproductive system consists of the primary sex organs, which are the testes in males, ovaries in females, and then the accessory, the glands and external genitalia. Okay, so a couple of things are important. One, this obviously is the main system in which males and females differ. Uh, males and females have a different reproductive strategy, okay? Uh, males, the, their goal is to just put the sperm inside a female um, and fertilize the egg. The, the female reproductive system not only has to accommodate that, but it also has to nourish the embryo and take care of it and give birth. And, and even after giving birth, um, they have to uh, continue to nourish the infant now, okay? So there's different reproductive strategies involved. But, okay, the interesting thing about this is everyone starts off female. Initially, the default pathway is female. Males turn on testosterone in about six, six weeks um, in utero, and that changes their pathway to male. But if you stay on the course, then it's female, okay? So by this time, most of the structures have started to form. So what, what you see is one structure either form a male reproductive structure or female reproductive structure. An example is the testes. The thing that grows in the testes in males grows in ovaries in females, okay? And one of the things I'll test you guys on is, you know, whichever one the male is, you have to give me the female one or vice versa, okay? All right, so let's start with the male. All right, the male. The testes are located within the scrotum, okay? Uh, the scrotum is a skin and fascia that surrounds the testes. The reason is, is because you want the environment around the testes to be slightly cooler than the body. Our body is 37 degrees. Okay, the sperm uh, function better at lower temperatures, so 34 degrees. Okay, so uh, this, the testes have to be outside the body. Okay, so there's the testes right there. Okay, and then throw them around it. Okay, you also see this one right here. Okay. The testes are enclosed in a serious sac. The tunica vaginalis, okay, underneath that is the tunica albagina. Within that is the seminiferous tubules, okay? The seminiferous tubules is where the sperm is actually made, okay? So the tubules are here. Okay, this structure here is the um, epididymis. Okay, and then here is the vas deferens. Okay, so here you can see that the seminiferous tubules is where sperm is actually made. Okay, all right, um, sperm spermatogenic cells produce sperm at about 400 million sperm per day. Okay, as opposed to one egg a month in females. Okay, this process also starts at puberty. Okay, females have all their eggs by the time that they were born. Okay, so um, this process begins at puberty in males and it takes about 75 days. Okay. All right. 
uh, the cells can differentiate and move toward the lumen. Okay. So what happens by the end is they get to the epididymis. The epididymis is where the, the sperm is stored. Okay. Um, the, the, the epididymis sperm first I'll stay there for 20 days and then sperm gain the ability to swim and gain the ability to fertilize the egg. They, they activate their uh, a chromosome uh, and that little thing turns on and is able to start to penetrate uh, egg structures. Okay. The next thing is the ductus deferens, also known as the vas deferens. Okay, um, during ejaculation, the vas deferens contracts and shoots. Okay, the sperm into the ejaculatory ducts here. Okay, so if you cut the vas deferens, that is a mastectomy, I'm sure you guys all realized, okay? And if you cut that, you will have no more sperm. Okay. Okay, the spermatic cord, okay, uh, contains the vast, the ductus deferens, the testicular blood vessels, so testicular artery, testicular vein, and the testicular nerve, okay, so like here, okay, is the spermatic cord. The spermatic cord, as you can see, goes through the inguinal canal here, okay, um, and it drops in. So your, bo your body starts developing the testes inside the body and either about five to six months in utero or shortly after birth, the, uh, anywhere between that time period, the testes push their way through the inguinal canal and into the scrotum, okay? Uh, undescended testes are a big problem. They, they can cause the cancer and all this other stuff. <coughs> <coughs> But because they push through the inguinal canal, okay, that leaves a, a hole there, and that you can herniate things through, like here, okay, uh, and so this is a inguinal hernia, okay, okay. All right, the purpose of the urethra, so coming off the ejaculatory duct is the urethra, okay? The urethra carries the sperm to the outside, okay? So three parts of the urethra, prostatic urethra, intermediate urethra, intermediate urethra, otherwise known as the membranous urethra, and the spongy urethra, okay? So, Prostatic urethra, intermediate urethra, and then spongy urethra or penile urethra. Okay. All right. So that is sperm, okay, um, coming through. Uh, the other thing that has to happen is semen. Okay. Semen and sperm are two different things. Okay. So sperm is only a small fraction of it. It's only about 1% of the total ejaculate, um, right? And the rest of it is comes from the um, glands, including the seminal gland. So if you cut the vas deferens, you still have semen, you'll still have ejaculate, you just have no sperm in the ejaculate. Okay, so the seminal glands, and the prostate, these two things produce the semen. The purpose of the semen is manifold. One, it produces 
liquid to, to allow the sperm to swim in. Two, it produces sugar for the sperm to feed on. Three, it, um, it has substances that clot and they liquefy semen. So when the sperm hits, okay, the first thing it has to do is clot and prevent things from killing it. And then it has to liquefy and swim around. Okay. Uh, the last thing is prostaglandins. The prostaglandins um, act on the female and they, um, they suppress the female immune system, one, so they don't attack the sperm and treat it like invaders. Two, it causes contractions, so it, it sucks up the sperm to where they need to go. Okay? Okay. The last of this is the bobo glands. The bobo urethral glands um, are pea-sized glands that are inferior to the prostate gland. They produce a mucus. So this mucus is commonly known as precum. And what it does is, remember, the urethra is a dual-purpose organ. So urine has been through there, so you need to clean up all the urine. So you need to neutralize all the acid, and you just need to, like, clean it out. So the bobo urethral glands secrete um, the pre-cum and cleans up the tube right before they ejaculate themselves. Okay. All right. The external anatomy. Okay. You have a shaft. You have a gland penis. Okay. So shaft. The tip of the shaft is the gland penis. The prepis is this area here. Okay. Um, also known as the foreskin, okay? Um, the internal anatomy. You have the three erectile bodies, one corpus spongiosum, two corpora cavernosus. Okay, so these two are the corpora cavernosus, okay? They have a artery running through the middle of them, okay? So when you get an erection, basically those two arteries um, start pumping blood into the penis and those two cavities fill with blood. Okay? Um, this does not, the sponginosum does not. The sponginosum is where the urethra runs through. That has to be kept clear so Semen can come out. Okay. Uh, um, the male sexual response again, uh, ejaculation is for under sympathetic or sorry, ejaculation um, is under sympathetic control. Erection is under parasympathetic control. Okay. All right. Um, there is a blood testes barrier, okay? Uh, the blood testes barrier protects the sperm from the immune system because the sperm go through meiosis and meiosis screws up the sequencing of the DNA so that the, the body doesn't realize that sperm is actually part of itself. It treats sperm as something foreign. So it needs to protect um, the sperm and the eggs from the female away from the immune system. Okay, um, this will be the, uh, the end of part one. Okay, I'll explain part two, which is the female reproductive system in another presentation.